Street artist David Zinn is rubbing off on some students he recently visited at a special studio over in West Bloomfield. One young man in particular whose work will be on display this weekend in Berkeley. As Jason Colthorpe reports, if you're not careful, you could walk right over it. You're going to need to watch out where you're walking this weekend in Berkeley. Not because of that, because of street art. And if, no, well, hang on, I don't want you to see it just yet, not the finished product, but here's what I will show you. Take a look. This is the artist's name, Jordan Hartz, and his story really is incredible. When Jordan Hartz works, he says almost nothing. And when he does, he's very soft-spoken. Smearing it helps a lot to cover the large areas. His inspiration is pretty simple. Just based off kind of the environment. But his journey to this point is most definitely not. Someone that came to Soul Center about a year ago barely could really interact. How many artists are going to be comfortable on camera, get on that street? This is his third time doing this. And he just goes for it. Jordan is an artist with special needs, including having an aversion to sunlight. So working outdoors on a day like today takes some added creativity, like his clothing and a canopy if needed. Someone like Jordan, we, we allow him to have a space to be relaxed and comfortable and build his self-esteem to, to know that he has so much to offer. He's just one of several artists making incredible strides at Friendship Circle Soul Studio in West Bloomfield. We feel very strongly that our individuals with special needs have a gift that every one of us in the general community deserves to have. And for the thousands of people who will see his art this weekend, he only hopes for one thing. Just so they enjoy it. Jordan, is this a, uh, you have a name? Uh, bunny in a hammock. This one's already looking amazing. He just started this. He's knocking these out in like a half hour, by the way. To see the final product, you just have to come to Berkeley this weekend. It's an art extravaganza in downtown Friday and Saturday, and there will be six of these final art pieces courtesy of Jordan. We're in Berkeley today. Jason Colthorpe, Local 4. Oh, that Berkeley Art Fair is so much fun. Make sure to check it out. By the way, Jordan is incredibly versatile, too. He specializes in watercolor, but also creates oil paintings and also does woodworking and carving. Sales of his work also go back to help the Soul Studio.